All right, hello everyone. Let's talk about my upcoming course on Fabric, Microsoft Fabric. So uh, before I got into IT, which was really almost uh, a long time ago, uh, decades ago, uh, I was in a, a psychological doctor program and um, I was studying abnormal psych. And uh, before I chose abnormal psych as my the PhD concentration, I was... Uh, attracted to how people learn so it's kind of interesting that i make courses and and it's interesting the study behind that so here here are some here are some little tidbits um all right let's talk about one of the study so here's a person right and he watches this video here's the video and this was a longitudinal study this is a pretty big study and they wanted to see how much this person retained throughout the length of the video like so from the start uh, so i think it was one and then it ended at 15 minutes so you would think at least i thought before reading this study that most people would remember here we remember the last little bit right because it's the last thing they studied actually that was not true by a mile what they remembered was actually the first three minutes so you'll see a lot of people that know what they're doing won't have any videos in their courses longer than three minutes. Why? Because because your chance of remembering the content after three minutes without studying it goes to about zero. So my lectures, right, for this course, they're all going to be under three minutes, except for the demos, right? All these, this is a lecture, right? So so I'm going to show you this video and you'll see what I mean. We're going to have, most of the entire course is going to have two slides. One, two. It's going to have uh, the main topic. We're going to define it. We'll define the main topic. There'll be a de definition, and then there'll be key points about that topic, right? So what are the features of Fabric? And this will be the same structure throughout the entire course for all the concepts. Now, why is that? Well, why? Because I need to keep the videos under three minutes. And this idea is called concept reductionism. And what that means is you only give the learner the just what they need to know. And why that's important is because there's so much you have to know. I mean, this is called information technology for a reason. The amount of information you're going to need to know is really voluminous. So in order to be able to retain this information, you give people exactly what they need to know and no more. All right. Uh, oh, here's, here's a little interesting thing. So uh, what's the difference between a psychopath and a sociopath? You know? Uh, Psychos are born. There is actually a genetic component. How about uh, socio? Socios are made. Something happens to them. Uh, like Dexter, if you're familiar with that series, that made them a sociopath. All right, enough of that. Let's take a look at the video on what fabric is so you can see this in action. All right, before we get started, we should probably define Fabric. So what is Microsoft Fabric? It's a unified cloud-based platform, so think Azure, designed to simplify data management and analytics. It is data-centric. It houses all the pieces of the data for an organization. It brings together various components from Azure and other services to provide this seamless experience for data ingestion, storage, analysis, and visualization. All right, so what are some of the key features of Fabric? All right, so it's got this end-to-end -end data services experience. So from ingestion to visualization, Fabric's gonna cover all those stages for the data lifecycle. What else? It's a unified experience. It combines data ingestion, data engineering, data warehousing, data science, real-time analytics, applied observability, and business intelligence under one architecture. What else? It's AI powered, and I know we're all tired of hearing that, but there are parts of it that really are. So it's going to use built-in AI and machine learning algorithms to automate tasks and uncover some real insights for us. It's compatible with Azure. Don't forget that we're talking about Microsoft's cloud, and it is called Azure. So it's integrated with Azure, enhancing data processing and analytic capabilities. Lastly, reduce complexity. 
It supports the entire data lifecycle and all those stages in a single optimized environment, which means we have built-in security, governance, and compliance. 